Why is it important in your teachings to synthesize both the teachings from the East and the West? Well, it, I do not do that purposefully. Like, you see, it can be mistaken that what we are trying to do is consciously to synthesize all the religions. That we're not we're doing that at all. Uh, there's no conscious attempt. It just happens spontaneously. It's not a matter of, you know, picking uh, should it, a Christian Bible, the Muslim Quran, and the Hindu Bhagavad Gita, the Taoist text or a Buddhist text. We don't say now we're going to read this and then we synthesize with that. We we pick this and we put it there and we say, well, you know, really all religions are the same. We don't do that because that is just an intellectual exercise. Although um, people in the world for the last 30 years they try to achieve what they called a world unification of religions, and there is actually quite a lot of movement amongst Christians and Protestants and Muslims and a few others where they kind of try to unite the religion by saying that, well, basically all religions store the same ideas and therefore let's be brothers and sisters because we are all children of humanity. This is all on the mind level. And mind you, this is also good. I mean, that is also not harmful. Uh, you know, this also does good if people really can do that and just come together on a mind level and appreciate each other's religion. That's also good. But we do not even need to do that because, you know, on the on the cosmic conscious level, everything is already one. 